Hi guys, it is still Inktober and I'm working on another Inktober piece. I absolutely love working within this project. I, I love working on Inktober stuff anyways, because I love inking and ink washes. That's just one of my true root loves in life. It's one of the things that really just locked me in with a love of creating artwork. But but I also really, really love the theme that I'm working on this year, which is Grim Reapers. I cannot get enough of this theme. I just want to keep working on it and working on new concepts and ideas. And anyways, I'm just, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm enjoying working on this next piece. And while I'm working on that, I wanted to talk a bit about, about the time of day that I've been working on my pieces and how much of a difference and an impact that can have on my creativity and how good my work is turning out. And uh, talk a little bit about flow state which uh, is a very hard to pin down topic, but it's been on my mind a lot lately. Oh, but really quickly, I just wanted to announce that the Kickstarter for my art book, Memento Mori, that's with all of my Inktober pieces this year that are going to all be colorized for the book is uh, is live right now. I'm, I'm so excited about it. Thank you everyone who did already back it, everyone who's thinking about backing it. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. There's a link down in the description if you'd like to go check that out. We actually just reached the first stretch goal. So that's a free sticker for everyone who backs, which is exciting because it means I get to sit down and design a new sticker for this. And I, I love doing stickers. So so anyways, yes, that is linked down below. You can go check that out if you're interested. I am really, really excited about this book. It's going to be my best one yet for sure. I've put so much of my heart and soul into it. So a very minimal, hopefully, <laughs> amount of backstory. I used to really enjoy working on my artwork late at night. I loved the peace and the calm that came from being one of the only people awake. And I loved when the sun was down. I just really enjoy working in the darkness and at nighttime. It uh, put me in the right state of mind. I felt far more like myself and I felt like I could just get into the world of the piece that I was working on. And as time went on, that became less and less of a thing. I, I started just going to bed and not working on my art then. And then even more recently, I had a baby, which is awesome, but it also means that there's a certain amount of scheduling that I do not get to control anymore. And and I've been really wanting to reclaim some time to do to feel more like myself and to be a little bit more solitary while I'm working on my artwork. So I started waking up in the middle of the night. So like 2 a.m. ish is usually when it kind of started happening where I'd get up out of bed for about about two hours and I would go and work on something purely creative. I wouldn't let myself do any like admin stuff. That sounds horrible waking up in the middle of the night to answer emails, but I would wake up and I'd start working on one of my paintings like this one. <laughs> But I found that I was absolutely loving that process. I loved working on the paintings in that stretch of time in the nighttime so much more than I enjoyed it when I was working on it during the day. And there were, I think, a lot of reasons for that. I mentioned most of them, but I just, I just loved that. I missed that feeling and I didn't realize it was something that I hadn't really had for a while, that nighttime workflow mental space that I had. So for the past couple of weeks, I think it's been maybe two, I've been waking up. It's actually kind of transitioned more into waking up a couple hours early in the morning rather than in the middle of the night and then going back to bed. And I, I love it so much. I love waking up in the middle of the night and I'm very lucky, but where my house is, I'm at the top of a hill so I can look down at the city that I live in and you can see all the twinkly lights and it just puts me right in the mood and I love that. But it did get me thinking more and more about what uh, what outside influences I, I'm letting dictate my own creativity. Things like having my studio a mess while I'm working. I do this all the time, all want to just jump right into working. I want to work on a piece. So I'll leave my, my studio an absolute train wreck. And then as I'm working, I just can't focus or I'm just in an odd off mood and I can't quite pin out why it is. And it almost always is because my room is a mess and I need it to be at least moderately tidy so that I can work. 
And that's just one example of a lot of things that I've noticed can just really put me in this in this space mentally where I can absolutely get work done, but is it as enjoyable? No. And is it as efficient or as creatively flowing as it can be? No. And I want to maximize how engaged I feel with my paintings while I'm actually painting. So, so yeah, I think that that's, that's really my takeaway from this, this shift in scheduling is that during those, those couple of hours where I'm up and I'm the only one awake and I'm working entirely on my own creativity and my own creative things, that that is like the pinnacle of the environment that I like to work in. But I can take some of those little snippets from that and uh, and transfuse it into the times during the day that I, I am working on those things so that I can get that similar feel. But I'd love to hear from you guys. Is there a specific time of day that works for you? Or are there times of days that just absolutely you cannot be creative? You can't work on the things that you want to work on? I, I, I'm kind of surprised, not surprised at how much of a difference this made. I'm surprised for me how much I did enjoy it, but I'm not surprised at how, how negatively certain environments impact me. So, so yeah, <laughs> it's an, it's an exciting eye-opening experience because I'm having so much fun waking up and working on something creative. And then by the time everyone is awake in my house and the, the sun is up and we're moving and the day has started, I feel so much better about that day. I feel like I've accomplished something that I am excited about and it makes it so much easier to then transition into working on another thing that's also creative or even admin stuff. I feel like, okay, it's okay for me to focus on this because I've already, I've already done a painting. I've already worked on a painting. Flow state is something that I really want to focus on in this upcoming year specifically. I want to figure out how I can harness it if you don't know what it is, it's, and I'm, I'm going to do a terrible job <laughs> explaining this, but it's basically the mental state that you can get into while you're working on basically any task really, but while you're working on something where you can just lock into it, you are just in the zone with what you're working on. Everything is flowing. It's feeling almost automatic. Nothing else is worth your attention at that point. So that there's just very little even risk of being distracted. I love being in in this mode, in flow state, but it almost never happens for me. And after doing this nighttime schedule shift thing, it made me realize how possible it is. So, so the upcoming year, I'd really like to figure out how can I control my environment in a way that will maximize the chances of getting into the zone of being in flow state. And there were a few things that I mentioned in this video. The time of day makes a difference. How tired I am makes a difference. And it's actually not always whether I'm awake, then I'll be more likely to be flow stated. <laughs> but I've actually found that if I'm just the right balance of tired, I actually find it a little bit easier to just settle in and work on a piece. I don't know. That one, I'm still not quite sure on what the the perfect equilibrium is for tired versus awake for me. But but anyways, that's one of the components. I do know that. So, so yeah, there's a lot of elements that I'd like to start figuring out so that I can be a little bit more in control of my own creativity, how I feel while I am creating. Another big thing that I have known for a long time that really impacts how well I work on something is what I'm listening to while I'm working. So I have kind of a range of things that I listen to as far as least to most distracting from music with no lyrics to, all the way up to TV shows. And I really want to cut out the ones that are most distracting, but I find that I kind of have to find a sweet spot. The stuff that just really keys me in and makes me really focused and excited about working on my artwork is my favorite types of music. I I love things that really connect with me and feel really emotionally 
strong. But uh, I can only listen to that for so long before I find my attention starting to drift a little bit. So I need a secondary thing to help me just focus on something else for a bit. And then I can get back to that music that I find really inspiring and I can break that up a bit. But but yeah, I really need to kick out all of the stuff that is just super distracting. And that's about it for today. Don't forget to check out my Kickstarter for Memento Mori, my art book. This is going to be in full color, hardback. I am really excited about it. Hopefully that's apparent because I just, I've loved working on it and I'm so excited about what the product's going to be. So thank you everyone who did back it. Thank you for those who are thinking about it. That link is down in the description so you can go check it out and see what you think of it. But that is it for today. So I will be back next time with some more painting, some more art content, and I'll see you guys then. 